Hi friends, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a really simple just kind of chit chat, get ready with me and answer some life update questions. I asked you guys on my Instagram to see what you wanted to hear me talk about while I do an updated makeup routine because I have got that comment so so many times across literally all of my social media platforms. This year I just want to do more chatty content so you guys can actually know me on a deeper level. Instead of just like a baseline, we can actually know each other, talk to each other, understand each other. It's a Friday, I have online school. I'm supposed to go back in person on Monday, but I thought we would do our makeup together. So feel free to get yourself a glass of water, grab some makeup brushes. Also, if you're new, subscribe. I would love to have you here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We're just gonna get started into this. So I'm gonna pull up some of these questions on my Instagram. I have not looked through any of them. First, I'm gonna do my concealer. My favorite one recently has been the ELF Hydrating Camo Concealer. It gives the kind of coverage that I like and it's like a good color for my skin tone and it's hydrating because I do have dry skin. So I just put this on the inner part of my eye the outer part of my eye right in here because I have like really dark eye circles and then I just put it on any blemishes. It looks sort of something like that. And then I blend it out with a brush. I like blending it out with a brush the best. I feel like it's the easiest. It gets the job done fastest. This is a Morphe M173 makeup brush. How are you doing in school? I feel like I should talk about this since I just said about my school situation. I'm in my second week of school since the new year already and it's been going pretty well. Everything is starting to pick up. Like last week, we just kind of chilled, but this week everything is picking up again. Tons of projects, tons of assignments, that kind of stuff. And like I said, we have been online for the past two weeks just because people were traveling over the holidays and they wanted everyone to be safe. We are on track to go back in person on Monday. Again, it is a choice if you choose to go back in person and I'm choosing to go back in person and so is my brother. I take him to school, you guys know Chase. I do choose to go back in person just because I'm only there for four hours anyways and the classes that I take at the school are not too, too hard and I just like the feeling of being able to say like I'm in high school and I'm trying to get my high school experience. I am a junior. I wanna live out those high school memories even if they are not normal as long as I can. It stinks cause we have to wear masks, we're socially distant, everything is very different, but at least I have the opportunity to be able to go to school. So I'm thankful for that. Last semester I had all A's which is really really exciting for me i don't know i worked really hard i haven't had all a's in a very long time so <laughs> good for katie go katie yeah cool that's my concealer done with that what do you do when you're sad that's a really good question i feel like i talked about how hard 2020 was of a year for me on my 20 things that i learned in 2020 video and if you didn't watch that it's a really special video to me and I would highly recommend it's only 10 minutes and I really talk deeper about how my 2020 went but what do you do when you're sad I either listen to music write down my thoughts or work out those are like my go-to's listening to music I've explained multiple times but it's like the one thing that I can always rely on and it's the one thing that can change my mood instantly I don't know how but it just does. Like I put on a song and it changes my feelings. Certain music triggers certain thoughts. I've just always been like that. Music has just always helped me in that way and I'm so, so thankful for it. So music definitely and working out was as of recently as last year. That's just been a safe place for me. I really just get into the zone and I start working out and I blare music into my headphones, which probably also helps <laughs> while I'm doing that it just like it's the one escape because I'm in my own world I'm not focusing on anything but bettering myself all those like emotionally tolling thoughts just exit and I can either focus on just that or focus on just working out and for me I would rather be doing something better for myself when I'm sad than bathing in my sadness so I know going to the gym and running two miles or weightlifting, weight training, or maybe you pull up a 10 minute ab workout on your phone. That always just takes my mind off of it. What was the third thing I said? Oh, writing down my notes. My notes have so many feelings in them. <laughs> if I'm ever sad and I just feel like I need to vent but I don't wanna talk out loud to it, writing it down always helps. And I don't like physically writing stuff down. <coughs> Bless me. I don't like physically writing stuff down because then my hand hurts, so I just type it in my notes and those always, always help. By the way, I'm bronzing with the Hula bronzer and this random brush from Amazon. And then I just take a little bit like that and put it on my eyelids so it kind of blends it all together. So then it really just depends on the day, but I guess I'll put blush on for this video because you guys are special. This is just a Tarte blush. I used to be obsessed with blush and I feel like I kind of forgot about it, but recently I'm trying to get back into her, so I feel like this one doesn't even show up on my face. <laughs> My face looks extremely flat, but let me answer some more questions. Your faith. So I am a Christian. I 
I've been Christian my entire life and like I said, I have always struggled with my faith. When times got hard, I felt like I had nobody and I was like, well, why would he be doing this to me? Why would he be pushing me through this and testing me like this? Like I need him and he's not there. And I don't wanna push my religion or my faith onto anybody because you're allowed to believe whatever you wanna believe and I support you fully for whatever you believe in, but Recently, I feel like I've been getting closer to Christ and I've been attending small group at my church and going to church more religiously. I mean, it's extremely hard with COVID and a busy schedule, but you have to prioritize the things that are important to you in life, whether that be literally anything, but it is something important to me. So I've been going to small group and I've been really enjoying it. It's really fun to talk about something that you're passionate about with other teenagers that are passionate about it with you without judgment and free of judgment. I'm always learning more and discovering more about my faith and I'm really happy about it. Like I said, you're free to support whatever you want and believe in whatever you want, but you guys asked, so I thought I'd talk about it. Also, this is my first time using this eyebrow pencil. My favorite one is by Anastasia, but I keep running out of it and it's like $23 every time I wanna buy a new one. So I went to CVS yesterday and got this a Maybelline one in the shade Light Blonde because it is so hard to find eyebrow pencils that actually match my hair color, but I feel like it looks pretty good. That's one eyebrow done. My hair is also really greasy, like really greasy. So I'm just not looking too hot right now and that's okay. Would you ever have a public relationship again? The answer to that question is absolutely not. We'll never do that again, not anytime soon. Um, if you guys don't know, I did have a very public relationship last year and the year before that and it did end and I feel like it made that very clear on the internet but a lot of people just seem to always wanna bring it up and talk about it and it's not something I wanna keep talking about. I am Katie, I am my own person, and I've always been my own person. I've never been reliant on another person. It was good for a while, and while it lasted, it is no longer, and I will never do that again. It's just not worth all the backlash, all the pain, all the seeing pictures and edits of stuff when like people had no idea what was really going on behind the scenes. So no, we'll not be doing that again, and do not recommend. Things just happen, and it happened, and I really don't wanna keep talking about it and explaining myself anymore, that relationship ended almost a year ago, so we're gonna keep it like that. On the topic of relationships, do you have a boyfriend? No, <laughs> I do not have a boyfriend. That's not something I'm really focusing on. Like I said, I've just always been a very, very self-independent person and I don't feel the need to rely on another person for gratitude or happiness. So I just, I'm not looking. I mean, if something happens and I magically fall in love with my dream man at the age of almost 17 in high school, then perfect. But that hasn't happened yet and I don't expect it to happen anytime soon. I just feel like relationships always happen in the time when you're not looking. So it's not something I'm really focused on and I don't think it should be something that you should be focused on because you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else and still working on that first part. Okay, overall review of this eyebrow pencil. Um, I think it's a little dark for my natural hair color, which always seems to be the problem when I'm shopping for eyebrow pencils. It's a little dark, but it'll work, and it wasn't that expensive, so I think it's fine if you're into it. Why do you have a traffic cone? So the picture that I posted asking for you guys to ask me questions was a picture of my cone. I don't know. Everybody where I live just like has traffic cones, and it's just a thing. It's been a thing for a really long time. So me and my friends all just have traffic cones. We get them from like abandoned construction sites and we just have them. And literally everybody that lives next to me like has a traffic cone. It's just a thing. I don't know why, I love it. It was funny cause I had it in the back of my car, like my trunk for so long. Cause I genuinely forgot about this traffic cone. And then when my car had to go to the shop, my dad was like, why is there a traffic cone in your trunk? And I was like, oh. See, yeah, about that. This is a really close up angle of my face. Wow, I hope you guys are not scared. So now we're gonna do my Iconic Wing Liner. If I have gotten any questions on anything, it's for my Iconic Wing Liner and it's not hard. I do it every day because it takes two seconds to do. I do my Iconic Wing Liner with eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is the wave. I use this dark brown shade in this Tartlet in Bloom palette called Activist. This one right here, this one broke while I was traveling. I don't use that one. I use that one. It's so easy. I've gotten all my friends to start doing baby wing liner because of me because it takes two seconds and you just use eyeshadow So you take just any tiny angled brush like this that you can pinch to make really really Skinty and once you make it really skinty you dip her in a few times and you make her skinty again You just follow the natural line of your eyeball It's just like that continue to kind of build her I just take that brown from the outer corner and drag it down to like the middle of my eyeball just to connect it so it doesn't just kind of stop because I feel like that makes a big difference. And that's it, that's how you do my iconic wing. It's so easy, you're just gonna add mascara after and you're done. 
I'm gonna do this one for you right now too. And I don't like to bring the liner like all the way across my eyelid. I just don't feel the need to, but if you do, you just do the same thing and you just bring the liner there. Wow, you have bomb wing liner in 30 seconds. You're so welcome. <laughs> Me acting like I created like the wing eyeliner. Like this was my, yeah, this was my trend. Like I created wing eyeliner. I hope you know I'm joking. So now we move on to mascara, which is one of our last steps. We're nearing the end. Thank goodness. I feel like I've been talking for way too long. I love to talk. So I'm just gonna kind of brush out my eyelashes. Do you ever feel pressure to be perfect in life? Daughter, student, and friend. Yes. Ever since I've started social media and I've been doing social media for eight years now This is my eighth year on the internet I've just always felt this overwhelming pressure to be perfect and to be a role model whether I choose to be or not I am and I have to accept that putting yourself on the internet for other people's judgment is obviously my choice And I made this decision a long time ago, although I never signed up to be a role model unfortunately and fortunately I am because thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of people see my face, see my content, and I get so many DMs of people being like, I wanna be like you, which is so, so sweet, but at the same time, I'm still 16 and I'm still trying to figure out who I am. I don't know if you wanna be like me because I've got a lot of stuff going on, especially up here. I do feel the need to be perfect online as a daughter, as a friend, as a student, literally everything, and especially online, just because I do have so many faces watching and I am so grateful for that, but it is so hard because I mess up, I say one wrong thing or I don't say enough or I don't speak up about something and the whole world's attacking me, you know? And like I said, I know I signed up for this, this is a part of my job, but it's just, it's hard, especially being so young. I'm still learning, I still don't know who I am, what I wanna do, what I wanna be. I do feel the need to be perfect and do perfect, but I'm constantly trying to get over that, not fear, but like, I guess fear. I don't know how I would describe it because it's, it's not a fear, it's more of like a, a stigma, I'm not sure. I, I want all of you guys to know that you're still growing too and you can't be perfect because no one is perfect, literally no one. I promise you Kylie Jenner has problems. There might be rich people problems, but they're still problems. Somebody asked, do you have any plans for your birthday? If you do not know, my birthday is January 23rd. Shout out all my Aquariuses. I will be turning sexy 17. Just kidding, it's not sexy. <laughs> but um, no, as of right now, I do not have plans. Um, I don't really think birthdays are that big of a deal. I don't know, I've not, like I hype up my birthday, but it's really just kind of the same thing. I just kind of spend time with my family. We go out to family dinner. Yeah, that's about it. I'll probably see my four girlfriends <laughs> and that's fine. That's all I really need. I don't need more than that. Finally be 17. I'm the only all four baby in my entire friend group and they all make fun of me because they're all 17 turning 18 this year and I'm still 16. I'm done with all of my eye makeup and now we're just gonna add the final touches and that is some lip Stick. This isn't lipstick. This is called Just a Tint by ColourPop and they're like these lip crayons I just really like them because they feel like chapstick, but they have a little color I just put it on like this. This one is in the shade Give me some more and then this one is in the shade the strand and I just mix them together on my lips That's all for lips. I just really like it because like I said it feels very moisturizing It wears off really fast, but for now it looks fine highlighter. This one's ColourPop I just use my finger and put it on my nose and in the corner of my eyeballs. I wanna answer just a few more questions if I can. Do you ever think you'll get tired of yellow? <laughs> uh, I think I know what this person's trying to say. Basically, I've kind of branded myself online as like, happy, yellow, go lucky, girl. And I will always be that and I always am that, but it really stinks that I have to fit that like stereotype at all times. And that's what I'm trying to break out of this year. Clearly I had a channel name change and I changed my channel name, this one from Katie's Corner to Katie McKenzie, which was huge for me. It was a very big step. I talked about it on my vlog channel, Katie McKenzie Vlogs, feel free to go check that out. But that was a big step for me just cause I've always been Katie's Corner, but I felt like it was childish and a little young for my brand and for what I want to do and for who I want to be so I changed it I know I love the color yellow I always have I'll always love sunflowers and I'm still this happy go lucky person but I also have days where I'm sad and where I look bad and where I feel like wearing the color black I don't always want to be like the happy yellow girl I'll always be that girl but I'm also have so many other emotions and like to wear other colors like I love wearing the color black I love it I think it's so cool but well, whenever I wear the color black people are like Katie in black what <laughs> I just brushed through my very dirty hair but that is the end of this get ready with me chit chat kind of life update updated makeup routine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of video. I, like I said, I really like just talking to the camera and having a deeper conversation with you guys. So I had a lot of fun doing it. And hopefully you may have maybe learned a few makeup tips. 
I still don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup, but I just kind of slap it on there and it kind of works, I guess. I love you guys so much. Feel free to follow all of my social medias. Like I said, I'm posting a ton across all my platforms, especially Instagram and TikTok. I've been like popping off over there. Of course, subscribe. I would love to have you join my little family for 2021. And I am so, so excited for this journey. Bye. <laughs>